Hello YouTube, I'm Arm Reviews One, or Tom, and this is the Comic Cash with my weekly comic book haul. So, this week, because this is my first week, this isn't strictly true, because two of these I've had for two weeks. Um, I, oh, I got last week. Um, but I wanted to include them purely because they're quite important. But, obviously next week, one week, and so on. So first of all, I'll I'll show you this because I like seeing just how how many I have. That is the amount that I got over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'll go through them. These three are Judge Dread um, Mega Specials from 1990, 1992, and 1993. 50p each. I'm quite happy with that. I like the cover for that. Cool. Yeah, they were quite interesting. Um, they aren't brilliant, but if you like Judge Dread, they're good. Um, I wouldn't say go after them though. I, I'd still say get get those. So yeah, um, I would also mention, you see I'm using a different camera angle today, and that is to distance this from my other videos to show, it's a little bit different. So, I'll go in order of uh, release date, which actually is in order of when I got them as well. This is Nightwing number 17. This was quite good, um, definitely wasn't bad. I didn't like the guy who did the artwork. I will give you an example. Um, the artwork on the cover is fine. That is how we have seen Nightwing for a while. But on the inside, yeah, it just looks a bit looks different. I don't like it. I don't know if this is a permanent change, but I hope it isn't. It's was quite interesting. I mean, you've seen two Robins fight. Uh, Damian Wayne is trying to stop. Um, Dick Grayson from killing the people who are going through um, the burnt down amusement mile. Here we have Batman number 18. Yep, with the uh, the Robin memorial cover, the Requiem. Um, this was good. I, I enjoyed this thoroughly. This was about a character you'd seen earlier on in the death of the family. Her. Um, I can't remember her name actually. Just quite bad of me. But yeah, she's trying to become a vigilante and she is explaining to, um, to Batman that she knows he has a problem. A loss of some kind, and that it's all right to have a problem. Just you know, you, you've got to admit it. You can't try and admit that you uh, try and think that you don't, because otherwise you start to uh, to lose it a bit. And he does. He's, he's nearly slaughtered by big mutant dogs. Just quite interesting. We're seeing repercussions of both the death of the family and. The death of Damian Wayne. I still haven't read the issue where Damian Wayne dies. But, yeah. It's interesting to see both happening. Right. So that was last week's. Uh, not including Judge Dredd. I got that this week. This is Batwoman issue 18. This is the first copy of Batwoman I picked up. I enjoyed it. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. The artwork was amazing. I love the artwork in this. Um, give you a good example. There's a lot of these. There's a lot of double page spreads, which I really like. That I like now that I've got um, got them in physical. But yeah, like just everything just looks so good. And the story was alright. It wasn't too bad. The the fights weren't too. Didn't work too well. But it was really cool to see a conflict between uh, him and her. Although I don't understand who all of the characters are because this is the first one I've picked up. I think I can get into the swing of it. And my plan is, I'm not going to put this on order. 
But if I see number 19, I'll pick it up. The next one I got was Venom issue 27.1. And I, I picked this up just because I thought it looked cool. I'm, I'm not going to pick this up because it's my week. Yes, my weekly. Um, it was very cool though. I did enjoy it. The cover was really nice. And it's really, really weird to see a slightly reformed Flash Thompson. Who is basically taking out his aggression that used to take out on Peter Parker. And a character called AJ, who I haven't seen before, but we may have seen before. Uh, he's instead taking it out on occultists at the moment. I really like this new armoured up Venom. I think it looks very cool. And we also receive the symbiote literally taking control of... We In the past, we've seen like when Eddie Brock was Venom, we saw Eddie Brock having control and slowly losing it to Venom. In this, we see when F Flash is awake, he has complete control over, over the symbiote. But when he's asleep, it takes him over and it becomes the symbiote of just using Flash as a host. Whereas then, when he's awake, he can control it, which is quite an interesting twist. Um, also, I will say, I don't know how recent this is. Uh, does, it, does it say what the month was? Month cover, maybe? January, okay, not that new. Um, but yeah, uh, I found all the characters quite easy to understand who they were, but I'm not going to pick this up. But it was cool, it was cool to see, although I'm really not interested in much of Marvel at the moment. It, it was cool to pick up, it was definitely worth the money. Finally, the one that most people on this channel will be interested in, Transformers Regeneration 1, issue number 89, yes, number 89. This was definitely the best one I picked up. That cover is amazing. I love it, it's got the old-fashioned, the proper thing in the top. I do wish, though, that my comic book shop stopped the cover Bs, um, because often, what from the looks of it, the cover As are quite modern looking, whereas cover B generally goes with an old, proper G1 style. But I will say about this, the, the artwork is absolutely stunning. Just the colours used and the... I like the sleek bots and the bulky cars. It doesn't make much sense. In a cartoon, I would hate it. But in a comic book, I think it works perfectly. There's just something really, really nice about this artwork I can't explain. You see Rodimus. I don't know if he's hot rod at the moment. I think he's Rodimus, but I'm not too sure. Okay. It is very cool. It's interesting to see uh, Scorponok, he's taking over most of the Autobots, like he's got Perceptor there, working for him, but he genuinely thinks he's doing the right thing, and we've got Optimus on what looks like, what looks to be Earth, I imagine it is, is it? Yeah, it is, it is Earth. Um, obviously coming to the rescue of people who are in trouble there and trying to take down Megatron still and all, all of the Decepticons are still there here we see actually a really really interesting looking Galvatron I like this Galvatron and obviously we've got Shockwave there and it's it's interesting to see the Dinobots how they are in this because you can see definitely by Grimlock he isn't stupid he just has, like, he sounds stupid, though. The way he talks makes him talk like the Hulk. And the Hulk actually has this problem 
this thing too as well, where he will sound a bit stupid, a bit moronic, but you can tell by the things he is saying, and by what he's meaning, that he's actually really intelligent and he knows what he's doing. And you get a conflict between the Dinobots, and then they end up banding together, and you start learning about the old, old Cybertron pre-Transformers. There's so much in this. I will say, um, one thing I like about this, apart from like the story and the artwork, is the fact that it's thicker than a normal comic. I don't know how well I'm going to show you this. How well it's going to come out. But it is actually thicker. Um, it is more expensive. Normally there, I don't know how uh, much this was in pounds because I order this, he doesn't put a price tag on it because I'm the only one that buys them. Uh, they do have dollars on the front though. Normally a normal issue of New 52 is $2.99, whereas this is $3.99. But not only is it thicker, there are also no adverts in it. Apart from the advert for the next issue, the advert for the next issue of More Than Meets the Eye and Robots in Disguise, two more IDWs, Spotlight Bumblebee and My Little Pony, and Ghostbusters. All of the adverts are at the back, and it's just it's brilliant. I really enjoyed this. And yeah, More Than Meets the uh, Regeneration 1 is very good at the moment, I'm very much enjoying it. So, I do have a list here that I want to grab. Well, I haven't worked with them, if this is correct. Um, yeah, I have worked out what I'll be getting at the moment. My orders are, um, the first week of the month will be the movement, a new 52 starting next month um, oh, oh, that won't be the only thing, I'll pick up some back issues of things, make it a bit more interesting second week will be Batman, Batman and Robin Constantine, which I'm not sure about, I still haven't got issue 1 yet I'm hoping to get that next week also week 2 is next week, so Batman and Constantine and Regeneration 1 so next week I should have number 90 of, Bat of Regeneration 1 1 and 2 of Constantine Batman number 19, Batman and Robin number 18 and 19, with any luck. Also, I've heard um, Batman and Robin, the, the, because Damien's gone, it's going to be Carrie Kelly from Dark Knight Returns. That's quite interesting. Um, I may pick up another back issue on week two, but probably not because there's going to be a lot there. Plus, next week I'm going to have a ton, so be looking forward to that. Um, week 3, Nightwing. Um, it will be Nightwing number 18 and 19 if the orders come through. If, if the orders are still messed up, next week won't have much. It will have Batman, and it will have Regeneration 1. Batman and, Batman and Robin and Constantine are still might be messed up. Same with, um, same with Nightwing. But hopefully, hopefully week 3 will be Nightwing, so 18 and 19. And plus a few back issues. Week 4 will be the green team, New 52, plus some back issues. Um, yeah, that comes to about £16.80, if anyone's wondering. I did work it out. So yeah, um, that is my comic cache. Just get them all together for you. A quick recap. Judge Dread Mega Specials for 1990, 1992, and 1993. Regeneration 1, 89. Venom 27.1. Batwoman 18. Batman 18. And Nightwing 17. Out of these, the ones I recommend getting, um, I recommend getting all of them if you could. Um, although I would take out for this lot Venom and Batwoman. Um, Regeneration 1 is a must buy for anyone who lo likes Transformers at all. Um, Batman, for anyone who likes Batman or just DC in general, Batman is the 
seems to be one of the main ones at the moment. It's very good. And Nightwing is a good companion to it. Nightwing and Batman go well together. Um, they intertwine a lot. Uh, so yeah, my recommendations for what I have here is Regeneration 1, Batman and Nightwing, um, in that order. So, next week you'll be seeing quite a lot. I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, at the end of this video, I will put a... Um, at the end of the video, and at the end there will be a short video of me sorting out my comic box. Um, I will... It basically, it's me showing you everything I've got. I will speed up the bits where I'm putting everything in and sorting it out on the inside, but I'll leave the bits in normal sort of motion when I'm showing you what I have. So you can get a good idea of what I have. It's not much, not very long. So thank you for watching. I will uh, pass over to me. Hello YouTube, I'm I'm Rizwan, or Tom. Uh, I thought I might record me sorting out my comics. Not many of them. Into my comic box. Um, I will show you them. I might speed this up. So yeah, enjoy. I suppose. So here we have Heroes Return Iron Man issue one and two. A War Machine issue from the Marvel Legends series of figures. Iron Man Doom Quest again from the Legends figures. Um, you can guess that this is not an original copy. So it's a Marvel Legends. The original copy would be quite expensive. It would have a glass cabinet. Uh, oh, this is interesting. My House of M's. So the House of M. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All of the main issues of House of M. House of M issue three. For a nice shot of Hawkeye there. Issue 5. Issue 6. Nice shot of Magneto. It's name all in the background, is it? Yes, it is. Issue 7 with Wanda and Quicksilver. And finally, issue 8. Wolverine and Magneto? Maybe. Not sure. Here we have a Civil War Cable and Deadpool. Special. My debut for Civil War issue. Nightwing number 17, 252. Batman 18. Batwoman 18. New Venom issue. Transformers Regeneration 1 issue 89. So there we have it. That is the entire amount I have filled up of my comic box. Um, I could have gotten a small one, but the only thing is the small ones are the same price as the big ones. Um, so I 
but I get a big one and just eventually fill it up. So yeah, um, I do have a lid. I'm not sure how I'm going to keep these from going everywhere. Just be careful with it, I suppose. This should protect them a bit. So yes, uh, there we go. I will figure out a way to keep these upright in the box. I will find something to put in there with them. So yeah, that's reviews on. Oh, Tom, thank you for watching. Uh, we sort out these. Um, this off, I quite like this. I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Bye.